guys hope you're all well we are going to show you how to do some rock painting today um, you can use any type of rocks um, that you've either collected at the beach or you can also buy rocks in different shops um, and what you'll need is obviously your rocks uh, some paint brushes and some maybe some sticks some different types of paint so we've got all our different color paints um, so maybe a little bit of water in a cup so that you can change colors and wash your brushes um, and the paint that we use we've used just normal everyday paint and um, sometimes we always uh, sometimes we use um, acrylic paint as well because sometimes that does go on better but these work just as well to be fair um, so we can do any design we like on our rocks we like to paint our rocks first in one color so i've painted my rock black um, and olivia's painted her rock purple and then let it dry for a little bit and then you can put your design on afterwards or you can just go ahead and just straightly paint your rock it's entirely up to you um, you can do any design you like i like to use the sticks which is what i mentioned earlier because i like to put different dots and patterns on my rock and sometimes the sticks give it a really good effect um, but you can just do it with a paintbrush just as well so you don't have to worry and like I say you don't have to go out and buy the sticks you can just get some sticks from your garden and put your different patterns on okay so while we're thinking about the different patterns that we might like to put on our rocks we can also be thinking about what Peter was told by Jesus in the story in Matthew 16 verses 13 to 20 and Jesus said to Peter that on his rock he would build his church and he will give him the keys to the kingdom of heaven so this this is something we can think about while we're painting our rocks and doing our different designs you're doing a good job there Olivia can I show everyone your mm -hmm. good job Olivia's done a nice pretty pattern on her rock can you see she's done a very good job and then once it's dry you might like to give it a spray with some varnish if you're going to leave it outside because that will protect it from all of the rain and the wind um, or if you're leaving it inside you can just give it a coat of PVA glue because that gives it a bit of a shiny effect and it will also protect it indoors as well um, you can also be a bit more adventurous with your rocks like I have and I've put some diamante gems on my rock so you can get them from most craft places actually I got these ones in the pound shop so they they're really easy to pick up and you can put your designs on once your paint has dried nicely well thanks guys for joining us and we hope you really enjoy painting your rocks god bless see you good soon bye, bye.